guys, it's me, Annabella Rose, your personal trainer and dating coach back from KarmaLifestyles.com, helping you get into the very best shape so you can dominate the dating world. Today, we're going to be talking about the best upper body exercises, but before we start, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification as there's going to be so many more videos coming your way. Exercise names can be quite tricky to grasp unless you've kind of been in that world for a long time. So for all my beginners, I'd like to clarify that strength training is a broad term that includes weightlifting but isn't a synonym of it. Whilst weightlifting is significant for upper body workouts, other strength training moves can also help carve a healthy muscular body and don't include actual weights. The most efficient strategy is to incorporate a combination of several compound workouts within your routine. These could include dumbbells, barbells, or machines. Basically, the concept of a compound movement is where you move more than one joint. Your own body weight covers the weight needed in a lot of these exercises and other calls for resistance bands or free weights. The best thing about each of these exercises is that they can be modified. For instance, a one-arm row can be done in cooperation with a dumbbell or a cable. A face pull, on the other hand, can be done with either a cable or band or a TRX set. Mix these up. The variations, depending on your fitness goals, will get you to where you need to be. Also, feel free to use any other equipment that you could have around. There's no hard or fast rule on what to use and how to use it. So keep changing it up so you never get bored. So let's jump into the exercises. These moves will not only increase your overall strength, but will also reduce your risk of injury, improve the power of your core in your everyday fitness endeavors, and also give you a more symmetrical build. Here are some upper body exercises we've put together for you to get you just that. Number one, bench press. Hey, it's rather simple, but very effective. Lie flat on a bench and hold the bar a little wider than your shoulder width. Whilst keeping your abs and your glutes tightened, lower the bar to your chest. Whilst at it, ensure that your elbows are slightly tucked and your back is slightly arched. When the bar makes contact with your body, drive your feet into the floor and press the bar back up. Make sure you adjust your weight accordingly for each rep and set to get the right amount of resistance. Number two, push-up. Now I'm sure that we are all familiar with the push-up. Place your palms on the floor such that they're just a bit wider than your shoulder width apart and step your legs behind you. Position your lower body and core such that your chest is over the floor and over your hands. Take roughly two seconds to lower yourself down and two seconds to push back up. Your back should remain flat with your head, your buttocks and your feet in a straight line. Your elbows, on the other hand, should be close to your torso and should extend fully at the top of your push-up. Be careful not to lock them out as this may cause injury. Want more of a burn? Bring your hands closer together and you'll really feel that chest burning. Number three, overhead press. Here, set the bar up in a cage or a squat rack. Grasp it slightly outside your shoulder width. When set, take the bar from the frame and hold it at shoulder length with your forearms held up vertically. Squeeze the bar such that you brace your core and abs. Press the bar overhead whilst pressing your head forward and shrugging your traps as you pass the bar by your face. Number four, incline bench press. It's similar to the bench press, only that it has a recline twist to it. Use an adjustable bench and set it at 30 to 45 degree angle. Lie on it with the dumbbells in each of your hands held at shoulder level. Arch your back whilst locking your legs in place and drive the dumbbells upwards towards the ceiling. Five, push press. Here, hold a barbell with an overhand grip and keep it at shoulder height. Your elbow should be held up high and your upper arms parallel to the ground. By slightly bending your knees, drop down whilst ensuring that your torso remains upright without any forward lean or back curvature. With high intensity or explosivity, extend your hips and knees as you drive that barbell overhead and stand up straight. Lastly, slowly lower the barbell back to your shoulders. Repeat several times. Number six, 
clean and press. Stand in such a way that your feet are positioned at about shoulder width apart. Arch your lower back and bend your hips back so that your torso is lowered. Once in position, grasp the bar with your hands shoulder width apart. Extend your hips outwards to lift the bar off the floor. When the bar gets past your knees, jump and shrug the bar such that the momentum raises it and you can catch it at shoulder level. Brace your core and abs and stand up straight. This is the clean position. Then press the bar straight up overhead. Remember, don't lock your elbows, it might cause injury. Seven, pull up and chin up. Here, grab the bar shoulder width or slightly inside it with your palms facing you. Whilst maintaining a tight core, pull yourself up until your chin is above the bar and slowly lower yourself down and repeat. That is a chin up. To perform a pull up, grasp the bar, hands further than your shoulder width apart, palms facing away from you, and pull yourself up as far as you can. Lower and repeat. Number eight, one arm row. While standing in a staggered stance with one foot forward, grab a dumbbell in one hand. Bend at your knees and your hips such that you lower your torso until it's almost parallel to the floor. Now let the dumbbell hang at arm's length from your shoulder. With your torso still, pull the dumbbell to the side of your torso and ensure that your elbow is close to your periphery. While at the top of the movement, pause and squeeze and then lower the dumbbell back to the start position. With that right there, my dear friends, you can trust that you have a full workable guide for the best exercises for your upper body. There are so many more out there, but these are the fundamental building blocks of an upper body workout. Now, if you're a beginner, remember that form is the most important thing when it comes to exercise. Focus on getting the form right before you overload yourself with heavier weights. Like I said, it's more about quality as opposed to quantity. Perform every rep to the maximum of your ability. Remember, they're not as easy as they may seem, even though they sound simple. They'll need a great deal of motivation and work and discipline to start and follow through with it. Only then will you stand to see the changes that you desire to see in yourself. So that's all from me today at Karma Fitness for now. If you feel like you need an extra bit of motivation or personalized help in helping to achieve your fitness goals, then you can click on the link below that will take you to Karma Fitness section of karmalifestyles.com or drop me an email to annabella at karmalifestyles.com and I will endeavor to get you on the right track. If you like this video, hey, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on all of our social media that you can find in the description box below. I've been Annabella Rose and hey, I'll see you next time on Karma TV.